another episode of Kappa TV. I'm your host, Nakazi Hawkins. I'm here again with another very special guest. I've got the 2021-2022 Brother of the Year for the Theta Pi Chapter, Fall 21 Initiate of the Theta Pi Chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi Returning Incorporated, Big Trade Club. He's going to let you know Yo. more about that. Uh, SGA Senator at Large here at Mercer University, MU Runway Executive, previous MTA Chairman, my MCA Chairman, as a matter of fact, Risk Management Chairman here at Mercer, co-founder of TNT Entertainment, 3.0 GPA here at Mercer, the Ivy League of the South, that holds weight, a chemical commerce major, and an avid cigar smoker. I'm here with Mr. Mason Petway. Mace, my man. How you doing, brother? How you doing, brother? I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate you for joining me, man. Thank you so much. No problem. Appreciate you, know. you being here. You got to you got to tell me a little bit more about the cigar smoking. Like, you got a favorite? You, are you new to it? Like, how did that? What's so, up with that? So, I recently become a, a cigar smoker. I was used to smoke hookah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I got the flavors and everything. You know. Mm-hmm. I feel as if, you know, when I got into the cigars, I started smoking a couple, you know, light cigar. You know, I feel like everybody should start off with a good a good light, you know what I'm saying? A good light, nothing right. too heavy, you know, nothing uh-huh. too strong. And then I started smoking, I smoked a, um, a Palermo, I think it's called a Palermo. You, you, know, t- you put me on shit. game, I don't know nothing about I that. I think it's a champagne dipped cigar, you know. Gotcha. That was my gotcha. first, you know, and I, I was I was loving it, you know what I'm saying? That's the one I was going to every time. Mm-hmm. I was like, let me expand my palate, you know, right. see what I'm talking about. So. Now I'm trying different things, and somebody, uh, I was recently given a psycho, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that's my line name, I was given a psycho make sure you, cigar. Make sure you know the- psycho. <laughs> psycho. <laughs> so, I was given a psycho cigar, and I mm-hmm. smoked that recently, and there's some other things I've been smoking, take pictures of the cigar I smoke, mm-hmm. trying to get my collection, you know. A little decent, you yeah, know. That's what I'm you picked up from like your pops or like an old head or. I picked it up from my uh, my DP. <laughs> shout out to man, Hugh, man. Hey, shout out to shout out to Hubert. Chapter you know what advisor saying? for TP. Chapter, man. chapter advisor for TP. Good you know man. what I'm saying? Good, good noob, good noob, good, good noob. Great noob. Shout so you know, he he brought it. You know, he brought us some cigars one time, and after that, you know, he would he would smoke cigars every once in a while. Mm-hmm. We don't see him smoking cigars. We began to smoke a cigar with him, chop it up, you know, drink a little like cognac, a little cognac over ice, you just know, like vibes. just good vibes. Vibe. And yeah, it was that's, a that's real vibey, <sighs> you know, it's a real you know? vibey. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you kick your feet up and just with talk the with the boys, with the talk with the boys, talk with the, talk with the brothers. You know what I'm saying? And I'm you can't be mad with that. I love some good fellowship. You know, yeah, that's yeah. one of the biggest biggest things that I love to do with the brothers. You know, mm-hmm. fellowship and expand on the bond. You know, just to share those moments. So. Yeah, I began to enjoy it. So cool. Before before you get into all of that, we gotta go back a little bit, man. Go back. Where where's Mason from, man? What's up? Okay, okay. So, uh, you know, I graduated from Parview. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Graduated from Parview. I'm from Lowburn, Lowburn, Georgia, mm-hmm. the north side of Atlanta. You know, north side baby. You Important know. ATL Geo. Important ATL Geo. You gotta know your ATL Geo. I'm not from the north. I'm not north of Atlanta. I'm the north side, baby, northeast. You know, gotta know your geo. 85, Tight. 85 south. If you know, you know. Tight. You know what I'm saying? Simple. If you know, you know. Simple. You know, you know. Simple. So, yeah, I graduated from Parview. You know what I'm saying? I ran track. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And middle school, high school came in running pretty decently. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna say I was the best, <laughs> but I was, I was, I was you like know, I, that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't no, you ain't no pushover in the lanes. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was 800 meter. You know, get a little rocky off the top. You know, <laughs> off the, the tip, you gotta get a little. Bump to the boys, you know what I'm saying? Let them know you're here. I'm coming through, let me get through, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't no pushover, you know what I'm saying? Right, but right, right. My, most of my homeboys some, with some dogs, yeah, yeah, some yeah. dogs on the, um, on the track, so mm-hmm. I used to be hanging around with them. It was really nice. It was really Parkview, so I don't know too much about Parkview being from the cab. Is it, that's diverse, is it all black, all white? or? So we're pretty mixed? diverse, like Mercer, Mercer's pretty diverse too mm-hmm. here. I would pretty say like it was almost the same de- demographic. Okay, almost. Gotcha, like, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You got your strong, you know, African American crowd, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You know, you're blacks, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You also got Asian. I think I, I'm not gonna say a part of you, I think we had a little bit more Asian content, you know what I'm saying? Then Mercer. Then Mercer. Okay. Mercer yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? A little more, couple more Asians, you know, definitely the caucus out there. It's definitely uh, a lot of the caucus <laughs> out there, you know what I'm saying? It's not an all black school up for sure. Right, right, right. So, like, it was very diverse, you know what I'm saying? Which I think came in handy coming into Mercer. It yeah, was I was about to ask, do you think being able to be around that in high school kind of helped you with, you know, uh, your transition to Mercer? I think it was a, a very much easier transition, you know, mm-hmm. because I was already around that, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it wasn't like I had to, I, I was already, but most people I think come to part, uh, to Mercer and they're like trying to figure out who they are. Mm-hmm. I think because like the same different demographic of people, I was already knowing a little bit more about who I was and mm-hmm. I was just expanding on being comfortable with who I am. So uh, talking to people of being, you know, Diverse backgrounds. Right. I've been doing that 
For years. That no, for that years. was something that I I don't have any questions written down for this interview, but that was something that I wanted to get into. I probably we'll touch on that later. I won't do it now. For sure. But I'm talking about you being comfortable with yourself and who you are. We for definitely sure. gonna touch on that. Now, why Mercer? What would make you choose Mercer? What other options did you have? But why Mercer? Okay, so realistically, my dream school was FAMU or UGA. All mm -hmm. right, I applied to Mercer because you know my mom had went to Mercer for a little time, so she was like, apply, you know, apply to different schools, apply, apply to Georgia State. Mm -hmm. No, no, I didn't apply to Georgia State. I played to Kennesaw State. I right. didn't want to go to Georgia State because I just felt like it was too much city, yeah, too close. I, I needed a campus. I needed right. a campus lifestyle. Shout out to your state, though. Shout good, out. Good hey, school. Hey. Good school. Y'all out there doing some things. <laughs> Y'all doing some Georgia things. Georgia State is cool. It's just not for everybody. Not for That's everybody. All. Not right, for everybody. Right, right. So I was. So I, I went to college campus. Right. I didn't get into UGA, um, mm -hmm. tragically. Sad, whatever. <laughs> Got into FAMU. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they actually was giving me like a little scholarship, like a very, like very small. Academic money. Academic money. Gotcha. And then I came Mercer. I uh, came to one of Mercer's. You know, they had those big days, President's Day or whatever. It wasn't President's Day, but it's the other one. Um, not Founder's Day. Not Founder's Day. It's, it's another day. It's another day. A right? day, yeah. It's a day. It's a, a day. day. You get you get up, you get up your scholarship, basically. Right, right, right. Interview, you up scholarship. So gotcha. I did that. My scholarly got upped, and I was looking at the financials, and I'm mm -hmm. like, ah, I might as well go mm -hmm. to Mercy. Mercy. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. scholarly was doing decent. I was like, let me go ahead and take my... Like behind to Mercer, the Ivy League of the South, like you said, Facts. it's kind of. I'm not gonna say it's prestigious, prestigious, but it's it's, it's, oh, a very, it's up there for so. It's up there. It's up there. It's up there. We got some good programs and stuff. So, mm -hmm. and now I'm here. You so you have a very, I don't want to say untraditional, but I'm gonna say untraditional because I've never heard of it. I didn't. I've never heard chemical commerce until I met you. What can you give the people a little bit of what chemical commerce is and why you chose that? Okay. So originally I wanted to be a pharmacist, right? Okay. Kind of came out the gate, coming into college. Um, I had did a little summer program. You know, mm -hmm. my mom was big on putting me in summer programs with different stuff. So I was went to a little pharmacy program in UGA actually, mm -hmm. and I went to one, I think, at Mercer actually. Right. I went to one at UGA and one at Mercer, mm -hmm. Mercer, and the make it uh, the Atlanta campus. Okay. So I did both of those, and I was like, I really like this pharmacy thing. Like this pharmacy is what I want to do. So cool. Come to Mercer, I was like, let me get into chemistry. Did mm -hmm. chemistry. I started tapping in chemistry. No, I came in as a bio major. Came in as a bio major. So that was your initial major? My initial major was a bio major. When I first, like, before you come in, you know, you have to sign those paperwork and everything. Mm -hmm. So I immediately went ahead and put, put bio. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? When I came to campus, I, was, I immediately changed to chemistry. Like, I didn't immediately change, but I knew that I was going to change to chemistry. I was okay. like, I'm going to change to chemistry. So I changed to chemistry, and I'm like, hmm. Got to take some classes, some courses. Was it really on pace what you wanted to do for real? I didn't, I didn't really, yeah, I stopped the drive for me to be in the chemistry. I was just like, ah, no. Because mm -hmm. I started taking, the first took those bios classes, and those bio classes, I was like, yeah, I don't want to be a bio. That's what made me immediately <laughs> get out of bio. I was gotcha. like, yeah, I'm not trying to do this bio thing. Not so, a go. Not a, bad, not, bad for business. Bad for business. I didn't want to be there. So I immediately get into chemistry because I was, I was digging chemistry. It was pretty easy. Like, Jim Kim was like, a breeze. I'm sorry mm -hmm. if you struggle with Jim Kim. I'm sorry. Put your hand out. No. <laughs> so it was a breeze. So I was chilling, <laughs> and so I was like, okay. And then I got to see. I'm I'm doing a lot of during this time. I'm doing a lot of development in my uh, promotions of different brands, black-owned mm -hmm. businesses, and stuff. So I'm like, I want to get into some business. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I've been selling shoes previously. You know what I'm saying? Selling things. So I'm like, let me go ahead and like tap into this business mindset. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So then I seen we had a chem commerce major, and I'm like, what is this? So I looked mm -hmm. more into it. So it's a chemistry degree with a business management aspect is my part. So you can get a different, you can have a business management aspect, accounting um, aspect, or finance. And I chose business management mm -hmm. um, realistically just because I thought it was easy. So basically you're a double major in chemistry and business, and I love it. I, I think it. more people, like, you might have just put somebody on game. Yeah. Because I never heard of that until you told me about what it was. And people at Mercer, I really think if you're a Mercer and you're, you're a chemistry major, dump it. There's no reason just to be a chemistry major. Right. Like, you're wasting your time. Mm -hmm. Like, go ahead and go ahead and expand your horizons. Go take some business classes. Because regardless of what industry you're in, you need to have that business standpoint. You got to you know, know how to handle business. You got to know how to handle yeah. business. You got to be Money, able to, paperwork, all of that. It's a stuff. capitalistic world we live in. Literally. Capitalistic world we live in. So you need to know how that bag talks. You got to know what the bag talk about. You're not lying, bro. You got to talk about the bag. You're not lying. I get it. I get it. Oh. When you, when you, when you came to Mercer, what was it like on campus? Like, what was what was the, what was the student population like? Did like, did you have a good group of friends when you first came in? Like, how did that go? Okay, 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 okay. 
So I'm not gonna lie, in high school, I was a wild one, I'm not gonna lie. My parents gave me some a good amount of freedom. I, was, <laughs> I used to be out, you know what I'm saying? I was you out. You was outside early. I was outside at the gym, I'm sorry. <laughs> Got some cousins, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say they're bad influences, but like, I've been outside, you know what I'm saying? I've been outside, yeah, that. I've been outside. So when I get to campus, I, I took MMP, which is a minority mentor program. Mm -hmm. um, I advise everybody to take it. Good so, program. Good program. Good program. So I came to school. You come to school a week early, and um, thankfully I have Hunter. I'm gonna, oh, shout out Hunter. Hunter Goss. Um, shout out to Red. Shout out to Red. Shout out to Red. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a look. Yeah. Shout out to Red. <laughs> so basically, she was already here. You mm -hmm. know, she was here a year early. So she told me she like she went to Parkview too, right? No, no. I met her at the I met her at the UGA pharmacy program. I briefly just talked about. Got you. Got you. Know you got saying? you. So okay. Cool. I met her like at, in high school during that little summertime. You okay, know, what I'm saying okay, cool okay. vibe. Cool. So I ended up, you know, eventually came here early, that week early. Cool. I got to meet a couple people doing the minority mentor program. Mm -hmm. My roommate was also in the minority mentor program. So I didn't talk to a couple people, but it's like nothing too crazy, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I had some friends that also came from high school with me to Mercer. Gotcha. So when I, we started having a little friend group and it was cool and we were kicking in and stuff, you know what I'm saying? However, my initial friend group, like, like the first two weeks, I remember like, dang, this is what college is. Like, you know, my I remember my parents like, hey, we playing cards. People were playing cards and stuff. So we playing yeah. cards and stuff. I'm like, bro, like this is boring. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm bored. It's like I'm bored. It's like their fun wasn't the same as it is for this generation. Cause yeah. that was that's probably cool for back then. That's probably cool. Different now though. Yeah. Now they just never roll cards. I love playing a good, good game of spades. You know what I'm saying? Good game of Uno. But the thing is, the people I was playing cards with, they didn't know how to play spades. That's that's bad. We were, we're playing. We're losing recipes, bro. You feel me? We're losing recipes. And I'm already a dog in Uno. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like I want to see some competitive I've aspect. I've seen you in action in Uno too. <laughs> I get wicked. I get wicked. You know what I'm saying? They they stop these new swap can't cards, shuffle their hands. I don't know where yeah, that came from. Rules, bro. Everybody, bro, play like an OG, bro. OG, you OG feel me? OG. But who am I? You know what I'm saying? So right. you know we we got to playing cards, but like I didn't really find my place for real, for real until you know really I feel like I got into the frat for real. That's where I found my. I'm glad you went ahead and mentioned home. that. I think that was probably what I was gonna do. That's probably gonna be where we go next. What? So when you got the yard, when you got on campus, were Kevin? We weren't on the yard yet, or we were. We, I mean, COVID had happened. COVID had happened, so we had there was the last line was two K nineteen. Nineteen at this point. Yeah, shout out two K nineteen. Yeah. And so when you got here, there was no real. Was there like a presence? Were there were there noobs on campus? Okay, so there was noobs on campus. We had Juan, Jado. Um, mm -hmm. I think Sterling was still around. Mm -hmm. um, and shout I shout out them boys for sure. Yeah, for sure. And then. Um, Hawk as well. Right. So they were around, um, but like they were old heads like in the game. So like they weren't like outside for a for a, you uh -huh. would see you would see Jaden and Juan the most, I would say. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You would see Sterling Hoop every once in a while if you would say hoop. Mm -hmm. But realistically, I'm not gonna say like they was outside outside. You right. know what I'm saying? Like at that point in time, like freshman year, I'm not gonna lie, we had the the cues used to have like the the function like every Friday night, every Friday, but most of the time. Mm -hmm. They had been jumping, not not mm -hmm. jumping all the time, but like. Would you say they ran the yard when you came through? <clears throat> I wouldn't say run the yard. Mm -hmm. It was just like they were more known. Gotcha. Because gotcha. realistically, when the when the noobs threw a function though, like they would throw one or two. Like there was also some smaller functions that were doing a low. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But like the bangers, like the ones that people knew about, it was teed every time. Like it was packed out. It was quality over quantity. That's Tight. what it was. You know Makes what I'm saying? Sense. Makes sense. So like when they had something, it was <clears throat> you knew what it was. It was that banger. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was yeah. it was one of them ones. Got to come correct. The women were coming nice. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? You come in. You know what I'm saying? It was a good vibe. Right, you know right. What I'm saying? So that's that was a presence. Okay, so that was the presence. What drew you to Kappa? Okay, so in high school, I had already been researching Greek. Um, mm -hmm. I have like my best friend's brother's an alpha. Uh -huh. um, my other uncle, he's an alpha, and then one of my other uncle, he's a noob. Gotcha. Um, so. I've had a lot of Greek in my family, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, not a lot, but like I've had several Enough Greek people. Like you got an you got idea. I got an idea what Greek is, you know what I'm saying? I done heard some stories, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, horror stories, good stories, whatever. I've done heard, I've done heard some things. So at this point, I'm, I'm doing research. What everybody mm -hmm. should do, do your research. Absolutely. Do your research. Absolutely. So I started doing the research, you know what I'm saying? I'm, just, I'm in high school, you know? I remember being in chemistry class, literally sitting there watching probates on my phone. Mm -hmm. um, so I was watching like, I'm talking about everything. I would go from watching AKA probates to Zeta probates to Sigma Gamma Rho probates to um, new probates mm -hmm. to Alpha probates, Q probates. I'll watch the whole shebang, you know. Yeah. And from watching them, I could see that you know different chapters 
had different, you know, attributes and different qualities, you know what I'm saying? You had some noobs that were very suave, clean every time they came mm -hmm. out, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, suits every time they came on, yeah. you know what I'm saying, da da da. Then you also see some noobs that was out there, like, you know, in your face, mm -hmm. grunchy with it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, <laughs> type of action, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm follow, I'm follow, I'm follow. It, it get wicked, it get I'm wicked. Follow, I'm follow. So I, I, I began, you know what I'm saying? I, I enjoy the fact that they were able to, you know, be different in their own profile, and then before I came on campus, I really did, I thought I wanted to be a noob already. Mm -hmm. And then I came on campus, you know what I'm saying, and kind of like solidified it for me, you know what okay. I'm saying? Like uh, Jado, Jado, I knew Jado from Jado was a childhood child home friend. Mm -hmm. So his dad and my dad used to work together. So we used to know each other like growing up as jits, mm -hmm. but like I didn't know that until like. Like that span of time, the gap years between that, like I didn't even realize that was Jado. Right, until right. He had to remind me, like he was like, "Yeah, I'm, you." I'm like, "What?" Like, we, used to, we used to do this together. Yeah, we used to do this that together. Was, that was me. That was us. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Like that was in the back of the car ride. Right? You know yeah, that yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, facts. You think? I'm like, oh, makes more sense now. Tight, got gotcha. tight. So you know what I'm saying. So I just started kicking, you know what I'm saying, I, and mm -hmm. I enjoy what Theta Pi had, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. the slaughterhouse, you know what I'm saying. I like the images that they had, you know what I'm saying, regardless, they were clean guys, you know, yeah, Juan, yeah. Jado, and Sterling, you Very know what I'm saying. Smooth fellas. Very smooth Very fellas, you know what I'm saying. Sure, so I like the way yeah. they present themselves, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. um, and I just thought, you know, I feel like I was a good addition to the team, you know what right. I'm saying. So we're going to talk about, you know, so 2K19, they crossed, COVID kind of slows things down for 20. So your, your line, the Phoenix line, you and your four LBs, five of you guys total. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm gonna let you, you know, shout them, out, shout them boys out and all of that good stuff. But you guys were considered the resurrection line, pretty much, right? Can Basically. you talk a little bit about the pressure that comes with? Okay, it's on us now. Like we really, mm. I'm not gonna say starting from scratch, but we gotta bring it back to like people remember who who we are, mm -hmm. what we do. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So talk about your LBs first, your DP, ADP, you know, all of those guys that helps you. Shout out, big love to your your tail, your five. <laughs> my DP, big Steve. Shout out, shout out to my man, dog. So yeah, do do a little Steve, bit of that. Steve, Steve, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah, shout out the boys. You know what I'm saying? Phoenix line. You know what I'm saying? Fall 21. Got my boy Larry Ski, Larry Sullivan. You know what I'm saying? Miles Mouton. Club. Um, this Deuce Club. Brother Paul. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Trey Club. You know who it is? Big Trey Club. You know what I'm saying? Um, then you got my boy Avery Avery Town. Eastside. For you know. Eastside. Okay. And then you need uh, Steve-O, you know, Big Tail Club. He's going to tell you every time. My guy. Steve-O going to get wicked every time. Steve-O, <laughs> that's my boy. Shout out to my man. Um, Stephen Porsche. Let me go ahead and say mm -hmm. that. Um, I would tell you all your line names, but do your homework. Do your research. What I said, research is important. Do your homework. <laughs> so, like, like I said, like, those are the boys. Um, a lot of pressures. I would say, like, we had, the pressures was more internal for us. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, we had seen the yard. Um, we had seen, like, a, a couple of us had seen a little bit what Jada and Juan did. Mm -hmm. And, like, we were able to have an image of what the campus had been missing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, so we had to almost take it upon ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Um, five in, five out, you know, you know. Um, shout out to my DP, Hubert. Valid. ADP, Mason, you know what Valid. I'm saying? So, shout um, out to the OGs. Shout man. out to the OGs. Shout out to the pimps, the real OGs. <laughs> so, um, realistically, you know, they taught us a lot of information. Like, they didn't just teach us how to, how to just... Um, be capitalist, you know what I'm saying? They taught us like the values of being a noob as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a very important um, aspect. You can't just be a good capital or you can't just be a good noob. Or you can't be a good capital and be a, what, be a good noob. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They're, I mean, they intertwine. They intertwine. They're my intertwine. bad. If I, if wanted, I said it wrong, the same. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, we get it. You got to be a good it. noob and you got to be a good capital. You can't right. just be a good capital. You can't just be a good noob. You got to be both. both. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. it's, 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 it's values in both. So, exactly. Um, I, they taught us that, and you know what I'm saying? So we wanted to, you know, come back on the yard. And we wanted to run campus, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We didn't want to just be, we had seen things, you know what I'm saying? Like we knew we could be more interconnected with the campus, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We wanted to be seen and shown on campus and felt as we were a presence that people could, pe could, people could come talk to us about, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We didn't want to just be those guys that were just like snobby and cocky and just like, yeah, if you're not us, blank you, you know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, right. But it's like, hey, them some cool dudes, like they respectable gentlemen, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And the, the pressure was more internal, you know what I'm saying? Like, we came on the campus, like, with a chip on our shoulder almost. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, all right, like, let's handle business. Like, right, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, the Q's is here, but it's like, they not better than us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, at that time, the Sigma's here, they're not better than us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, at this point, it's like, it was a chip on our shoulder for ourselves to prove to ourselves. Because, like, realistically, 
we all, all of us, we already have the attributes in us already mm -hmm. to be what we are. Um, we're blessed that our, our line just shows, it came out to be such a great dynamic mm -hmm. where you have Larry be the ace and he became the pole mark. Mm -hmm. You have um, Miles who became vice pole mark, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Me, who I just got stuff done, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And Avery, business. Rock Club, you know what I'm saying? He had my back regardless, you know, and if anything, and he was a heavy lifter, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We yeah, needed yeah. something to lift up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then you had Steve clean up the back end, and he was definitely on a lot of the uh, administration stuff, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. He began, you know, doing Keeper of Records, and he did a great job with doing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so it, a lot of our attributes just clicked very well from, um, Larry leading quietly mm -hmm. to to Steve handle administration and you know we're all leaders in our own right if you know you know us you know what I'm saying so mm -hmm. we do bump heads you know what I'm saying we not you know what I'm saying but we right. always had a very much a great understanding between each other mm -hmm. that we're able to get stuff done and make stuff happen quickly and as fast as possible. Upon joining the frat, you know, obviously your life changes. For sure. But for sure. I wanted I want to talk to you about. You you coming in to Mercer <clears throat> and you 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 talked about knowing yourself, being comfortable with yourself. Obviously, things change once you become a member of such a prestigious fraternity as Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity mm -hmm. Incorporated. I want you to one give me a little bit about how you're able to be so comfortable and confident with yourself because there are some people who struggle with that. Mm -hmm. And I want you to talk a little bit about how that was either amplified or changed after you crossed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. That's a good question. I don't know where, that's a great question. I don't know where I became so comfortable with myself. I think like as a child, I think my parents always like, not like bigoted me, but like encouraged me to just mm -hmm. be myself. You know what I'm saying? And um, even even when they were like, Mason, you're so cocky or you're this and that. It was like, I was a good cocky. You know what I'm saying? It's, mm -hmm. it's good to be confident and cocky a little bit in yourself. You right. Know? And so um, I just naturally became more confident in myself. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know, really know where it came from, but I do think it's the people do struggle on that, you know what I'm saying? Just because I feel like people are a lot worried about the outside looking in. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm just a cool cat, realistically, you know what I'm saying? I've always been cool with being a nerd or whatever, or having the attributes that people don't have. I've, I've always strived to enjoy being different, you know what I'm saying? It's, exactly. it's cool to be the same, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's cool to have a lot of attributes with somebody, but being different, being a different little aspect in your life, mm -hmm. I think it would just it was just cool for me, you know what I'm saying? To know yeah. to know what something somebody thought about something and actually think something different. I thought it was like like why why wouldn't I not think this? Right, you know what right. I'm saying? So I always just enjoyed having the same, like having deep conversations with people mm -hmm. and just talking to people realistically. Um, from watching anime to sneakers and stuff. So yeah. if, you, if you would like something, I would try to understand why you like that before mm -hmm. I even try to downplay what you like or da da da. I'm gonna sit there and be like, oh, let me see what's going on with it. And then, and I just, that just became my, that just made me more confident because I became more aware of things that I like and enjoy really? because I was able to speak about it. Like really? I, firsthand, I've seen that or I've done this. So it's like, I'm, I'm confident, I'm confident what it is. Um, be, with joining Cap Alpha Psi, you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> the biggest thing about people don't realize about Cap Alpha Psi is that it's a platform. So who you mm -hmm. are, who you are now, and then after you join today, like if you join tomorrow, the person you are now is the, the person you are tomorrow, just amplified. Amplified, literally. That's, that's literally. literally all it is. Literally. You know what I'm saying? You just get a platform. You know what I'm saying? Um, even with this, like this is this is Kai's platform. Kai has been this dude before today. Like mm -hmm. Kai has been the guy who could talk. He can. He's a funny person. You know what I'm saying? Kai has been Kai. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But now that he has his platform, he can advance his platform even more and he can show himself even more. Um, with that, I've had a sh I have my challenges with it though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, I'm a guy that I'm in a lot of people's face. You know, I'm very social. I like to talk to yeah, a lot of people. you got a big personality. I can have a big personality. Big personality. However... If you couldn't tell already. <laughs> if you couldn't tell already. <laughs> I have a big personality. <laughs> but on the back end of things, I also don't like being in the limelight of things. If you realize, a lot of my positions or roles, even when him's talking, um, <clears throat> a lot of my position and roles, I'm never taken on the head position. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't think the limelight, I don't think the role, it, the title really glorifies anything. <clears throat> I'd rather be the person in the back making things happen. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, so right. Uh, realistically, I just, I had some back problems with that just because it's like now that I'm having, now that I am a noob, I'm a Kappa, you know, it's, it's tied to me wherever I go. Right. Um, they know me as Mason Petway, the Kappa, mm -hmm. Mason Pi, Theta Pi, Mason Petway, uh, the noob, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Before they know Mason Petway, the person, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. <clears throat> they already tied me to Kappa Avasai regardless. There's already that stigma. 
that, yeah, 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 that, that stigma. Yeah, whether yeah. whether it's good or bad, you right. know what I'm saying? We have good stigmas, we have bad stigmas. Right. Because yeah. we are noobs, you know what I'm saying? The ladies love us, that goes both ways. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Valid. you know what I'm saying? Valid. Guys, they hate us because they can't be us. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just certain things like you just get and it's like, okay, cool, you know what I'm saying? But it's like at the end of the day, I'm still a Mason. Like yeah, yeah. with throughout the letters, I'ma do this. I would do the yeah. same thing. Like Like I think I might have mentioned it in the last episode, but my pops always tell me the letters shouldn't make you, you make the letters. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so like once, and that's the good thing about knowing who you are before you decide to join the org is you have a sense of self-identity and self-worth before you put your letters on. Because there are some people who didn't have that self self-identity or self-worth and they find themselves in the letters, but they also lose themselves in the letters. For sure. And that's where you see people who, you know, during certain processes, they take stuff too far. Yeah. Because they've never had this sense of power or control over something. And now, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can you could take things to the left a little bit. But I want to backtrack to what you talked about or uh, what you mentioned with the stigmas. Mm-hmm. You know, there's, you know, you get the playboy, ladies man, smooth guys. Um, I've heard in some circles, you know, lazy, don't handle business, think everything is supposed to be handed to them. However you want to slice it. How, how, what are some stigmas or stereotypes that you've, that you've ran into after putting the letters on and how did you kind of handle it? How did you maneuver around those? Mm, the <clears throat> biggest ones I get um, from different other frats, I definitely get gay. Um, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Like nothing against gay people, but like, I don't. I I've met a lot of different cha- different organizations with more amount of people that I've met that have been homosexual. Which right. I there's no problem with that. I'm right. Just, you Absolutely. know what I'm saying? But I met a uh, gay. That's a lot. That's mm-hmm. a big one. Um, what's another big one? The womanizer. Oh, yeah, sure, we're, yeah, yeah, we're. You get that one all the time. What's that? Dehu- uh, dehumanizer? No. Uh, 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 of women. Yeah, yeah, but what is womanizer. it? Womanizer. Womanizer, but it's another word too. I'm thinking of. Uh, it's, it'll come to me later. Not but, Playboy. Uh, I, I kind of. I, it'll come. It, when it come back, just blurt it out, and we'll know. We'll but, know. Yeah. Okay, but we'll, we'll come back to it. Yeah. But they always say that. They always say like to uh, objectify, objectify women. Objectifying they like to say we objectify right. women, this and that. You know what I'm saying? But realistically, no, we're not. Yeah. I, I, you know, it, I feel like at the end of the day, I just try to be me. You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm-hmm. If you think that I'm gay, so be it. I'm gay. Like you, yeah. you must not know me. Right. <laughs> like, clearly, clearly, you, clearly. You, you don't know me. Like yeah, if you think yeah. I'm gay, cool. Like cool. Don't bring your girl around me. Like, <laughs> like that's cool. She but can tell you better than I can. She can tell you better than I can. Probably do. chill. You come on, man. Why? She looked. She took. <laughs> she looked. She took. Come on, man. So you know what I'm saying. That um, objectifying women. I'm not gonna objectify women. Like I have a lot of female friends. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. So are you only child? I have, a, I have a younger brother. Little bro, yeah, yeah. Six years, we're six years apart, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So we had a, we kind of had some fights when we were younger and stuff, but mm-hmm. like, that's my dog. For sure. That's my dog. Sure. That's my dog. But I was gonna say, like, even, because I was wondering if you had a sister, but even if not, you have a mother. So you know For sure. how women are supposed to be treated, looked at, For sure. things of that nature, right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, I'm not, yeah, like. I've ran, in, I've ran into that, that stereotype from people who don't even know me. They just know that I'm a member of the organization. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay, you're one of, you, you do this. I'm like, no, I don't know. I don't even know you. Yeah. <laughs> like, where does that come from? I don't know. So, so I don't know. One of the things. And it's not to say that that doesn't happen. For sure. But that's in every org. And, and I that's agree. with people who don't have letters. I agree. I agree. You feel me? I agree. But yeah. But like you said, everything's amplified. Everything's amplified. You put on this cr- crimson and cream. Crimson and cream. So. I know I'm your dream, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> it just, it just goes. It goes left every time, yeah. so I don't know. You know, yeah. I, I really choose not to just. Like, that's how you feel. That's how you think. If you have any problems, just come talk to me. I right. think that's one of the biggest things that our chapter has done a great job of. Is like we put ourselves in roles and positions where if you have any ad- interactions with us, mm-hmm. it's like, you think that of him? Like, nah, nah, that ain't. That, Dang like, him. Come, come talk to us. You yeah, can get come to know talk. Us. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like we got an open, we got open door policy. Just come right. knock on the door. You know, maybe let somebody know before you come. But like, come knock on the door. You know, we'll come chop, sit down. Mm-hmm. We'll have a conversation in the living room. Like, we don't never be hostile. We ain't yeah, never yeah, hiding yeah. in no covers or nothing. Like, we who we are in front of doors. I mean, in the public and behind doors. Same thing. Same thing. Same people. So you know. With 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 the letters and with the strolling and the shimmy head. and look, let me put this on right. This is one of the smoothest cats to ever holler back. I'm not gonna lie to you. This this one of the smoothest to do it. So, but that right there, the the image, <laughs> the hey, the image that you get automatically being a smooth dude. You know what I'm saying? Getting the Playboy tag. 
when it comes to dealing with women and dealing, you know what I'm saying, with relationships and whatnot, man, how has, how has being in the frat, if it has at all, how has that impacted, you know, maybe your relationship with women or the way that women feel about you or this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying, as far as with women? So, realistically, mm -hmm. they shoot their shot more. I'm going to okay. say that. I'm going to say that more. Okay. I do have more women shoot their shot now. Are we talking about Greek women or just women in general? Women in general. Got you. you know what I'm saying? Just because I'm in a limelight. Like, I used to have people shoot their shot at me, but like now I think I get a little bit more, mm -hmm. get a little bit more attention. Um, I do I do think if she looks, she took, though. I'm sorry to say. Like, if I, if I get the strolling... I'm sorry, and I get in that bag, and I start moving. <laughs> I start getting in that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's I, over. You know what I'm saying? It's like, over. It's over. It's over. And don't let me, you know, put the, you know what I'm saying? That was just a sit-down melt. You know what? <laughs> that was just a sit-down shoulder. If I get into it, it's ski. It's, it's ski. ski. It's, it's over. Ski. I'm hitting it with the illusion. Lick the lips a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Caress the chin, maybe. And I'm going to get up out of there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get up out of Different. there. Different. Different. <laughs> but realistically, I think like with relationships and everything, like if I have a real good relationship, I think that me being who I am, I mm -hmm. think most women understand like, oh, he gonna stroll or he gonna do this. But at the end of the day, like if I have a relationship, she gonna understand that I'm going back home with her. Like mm -hmm. I don't think no girl. Women ever. gotta understand that strolling is just a show. It's just a show. It's just a show. It's, it's just entertainment. A show. I have to. <laughs> I have to. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm crippling myself if I don't get up and I'm hit doing that. A you know disservice. what I'm saying? I'm, I'm doing a disservice to the public, to the frat. They want to see me stroll. I'm sorry. I'm going to hit the shoulders. I'm going to hit a little, mm. Now, I don't think I have to go crazy every time. Maybe I don't crush the chin. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I don't. But. You go look at the camera, though. I'm, Eye contact is a must. I'm going to look at the camera. I'm going to look at the camera. I'm going to hit a little point, mm. And it's right there. You know right what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not even going to do it right now, but I'm just, just, just like that. <laughs> I'm just like that. Lay up. Lay up. Lay up. Lay up. Lay up. Lay up. That's all that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, boom. You touched on it with women, man, but uh, what about just friends? Like, you know what I'm saying? Relationships with friends after, you know, crossing heaven. You have you seen, like, some tension? Maybe you're not around as much because, you know, you got business to handle. Once you're in the frat, mm -hmm. you know, the struggling is cool, partner is cool, you have business to handle. Mm -hmm. So you might, you might have events. You got to miss this for your friend. You got to miss that for your friend. Have you seen friendships, not even just your own, but, you know, maybe some of your LB, some of your frat brothers in general, uh, relationships that they had before crossing or that you've had before crossing, that, you know, have some tension, some, yeah. some friction? I can speak to it personally, at least, uh, for sure. I know definitely other people definitely can, too. Mm -hmm. But as soon mm -hmm. as I crossed, you know, I got busy quick. You know what I'm saying? I was already busy before I was crossing and everything. But, like, I got extraordinary busy. And mm -hmm. um, one of my best friends, you know, she was here. And she was, like, she felt almost offended by it at first because she was, like, you have time for all this other stuff. Like, like why you don't come see right. me? Like, you don't come holler at me. Like, you don't forget about me. And it's, mm -hmm. like, that's not even the thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just... I, I I didn't know how to balance my priorities at that time, you know what I'm right, saying? Okay. So it just readjusting the priorities, you know, in your life and figuring out where you can fit certain people and certain things. I did realize though, um, being here at Mercer, that some of my friends before I crossed were just placeholders, respectfully. Like you know what I'm saying? Like That's valid. they weren't real friends, you know what I'm That's saying? Valid. Like they didn't really care about my well being. They didn't mm -hmm. really understand who I was as a person. They were just there for the time being. And so, and that's uh, like that's life though. That's okay. That's life. See, I'm, I'm people, gonna, sometimes people are seasonal. I'm not gonna trip about that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna trip about that. So it's like I had to just end up, you know, mm. respectfully, you know, just part of ways. When I, you know, with the brotherhood, I'm not gonna say like everybody's chapter has like you know good brothers like we do. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Respectfully, but like Theta Pi has just done glorious things from my LB showing love to like. My Neos, Kai, whatever, you know what I'm saying? We bring we like we bring around each other around each other's friends just because it's like like this is family to us. So right. it's like when we bring people around, it's like, yo, like this is this is family, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So if we just have good relationships here at Theta Pi, man, I've just I've cherished those more than I've cherished some of the other relationships that I had previously mm -hmm. in my friendships. Um, but I've seen some friends, like especially a lot of my friends have becoming starting to become Greek now. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Malik, um, he's an alpha now. Um, Obehi, who's now a Delta, you know what I'm saying? They're busy too now. Mm -hmm. um, so when I was crossing everything, they would understand like if I was too busy or stuff. But when I, I likewise, you know what I'm saying? When they're busy, I'm like, oh, like they just handling business. Yeah, handling yeah, business. business. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing for somebody like, oh, drop something real quick and be like, yo, hit me back, call me back or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's love. So love. Give me, give me some of your favorite moments or some of your favorite things about being in the bond since you've been there. About being in the bond. Absolutely. Hmm. 
I think the biggest thing is the bond itself. Okay. Like, people sometimes don't even understand what the bond really means, like the, the, the gist of the bond. Like, the, the ability of bond, like, like I said, we were talking about it yesterday, the bond should cover so many different bases of where if I sit here, and like if I go to a different school, mm. I shouldn't have to worry about anything really for real, for real. If I go and I talk to some bros, I can go talk to some bros. If not, I, I should like it's not it's not a pressing matter mm. if I don't talk to some bros because of the bond I have with other bros around. You know what I'm saying? So I think the bond has just become such a big thing where you know, it's different levels. It's different levels to the bond. We have the bond within your chapter. Mm -hmm. You have your bond within your LBs. You have mm -hmm. the bond with your DP. You have your bond with your ADP. You have, then you have, then you that's that's just your chapter. And then you right. go back out to chapters with different chapters. And then mm -hmm. you have chapter with chapter. And then you have the bond with all the Georgia noobs. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? There's a big bond there. And from Georgia noobs, you, have, you, you shout you, out to the Georgia. Shout out, shout, shout out to out the to Georgia noobs. Yo, 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 yo to the good bros. Yeah, yo to the good bros, man. Yo to the good bros. So. From the Georgia noobs, you have the SCP noobs, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. South Carolina, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We have a good bond even there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So having that bond to like that connection to different people, um, it's just one of the most glorious things from like just having a job, you know what I'm saying, to just simple fellowship. I mm -hmm. love a good fellowship. Mm -hmm. um, networking and all is always a good always a good thing too. But it seems like when you're around amongst other bros, you know what I'm saying? I, I get that when you get that feeling and you can just sit back, kick up a kick up, you know, kick up a feet. Crack open a brew and just chop with the bro. A good brewski. A good brewski. You know brewski with the bros. Good brewski with the bros. And it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're in South Carolina, mm -hmm. you're in Georgia, you know what I'm saying? Maybe at a UGA tailgate, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Maybe at a Georgia State tailgate, you know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And they don't even have bros anymore at the active in yard. So just being able to go somewhere and sing the bros and having that bond and that connection is like, oh, what's going on? Like, I'm blank and blank, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You talk to them, you know what I'm saying, chop it up. You might get an instant connection, you might not. You might mm -hmm. you might have a great connection that time, mm -hmm. link up later on in the future. Right. But y'all might not. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The biggest thing I realized, you know, with this with the bond, it's like it's a family, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're gonna have some of them uncles that you're super close with, and then you're gonna have some distant families that's super far away. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's it's a family nonetheless, and that bond is super, I feel like it's the most important thing that's um that brings a fact with it. I is. dig that. So no no relationship is perfect, no organization is, is perfect, even even in the bond. And so my question to you is, what are some things that maybe you've experienced, you've heard about, that you've seen, that you would like for, you know, us as noobs to kind of like, maybe not get away from, but maybe, you know, change, tweak a little bit. And maybe there's some things that you think we should get away from altogether. Like, what do, what do you see that would improve the, the lifespan of the frat? Or just the, the pure health of the frat, you know what I'm saying? I think one of the biggest things to change in the frat has to be the MTA process and, and the 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 pledging process in general. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like when you get to that MTA process, there's certain things and there's certain particular like rules such as like meeting up with different people or stuff like that, that it can easily put you on C and D. If you don't know what C and D is, this is. Um, so that's, it just puts you in investigation. Mm -hmm. um, that's just from people meeting up to know people on certain things. And, and realistically, I think some of those things can get very dicey. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. Um, yeah. Especially when it's just like, it could be just bros just meeting, you know what I'm saying? Having a conversation with some people. Um, and it could be a whole bunch of bros and one candidate, and we're just trying to get to know them, but like, mm -hmm. that's not allowed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Certain things are just not allowed. So it's just that certain things like that needs to be cleared up. Um, also, I think one thing. I don't know, really, I don't know. I think that's probably one of the biggest things. Like, mm -hmm. that whole, to the process, one of my biggest things is we should have brothers on the yard at every campus. I think that I would be... wholeheartedly agree. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm just one of those things I believe in. I, I, I'm one of those people that pride ourselves in no, honor, no honorary members. No honorary members. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying just let everybody in, let's open the floodgates, you know Correct. what I'm saying? Yeah. But there shouldn't be a chance where I go to a chapter and like, there's no brothers anywhere in the next in the 50, 100, um, you know, 100 miles yeah. because just because there's no brother, like no undergraduate brothers, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I think that's a big thing that we need You're to get talking back into. specifically about maybe schools that don't have chapters. Yes, right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like we, there should be more schools that I don't think chapters should be banned from coming back to certain mm -hmm. schools, especially um, not from cap at least. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If the school is the uh, the perimeter. Okay, let that be the school, but I think Kappa should do his best thing to like make sure that there's undergraduate chapters at every right. um, level. And I understand like hazing is a bad thing, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I'm not saying let's just go ahead and start 
allowing people to just go bonkers and yeah, start yeah, hating yeah. people. But you know what I'm saying? Like some of, these, <laughs> some of these some um, of these sentences have just been courageous, egregious, you know what I'm saying? 10 years can like definitely harm a chapter mm -hmm. for a long, long time um, to years to come. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like that affects like generations of not just that chapter, but other chapters. That affects the bond in right, general, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So I, I, that's one of my biggest thing. I think we should have just more brothers that are just able to be good brothers. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, there's schools around us that, that want to, there's people who come up to be like, yeah, yeah, I want y'all to bring them to, bring them here, bring them here. And it's last like- Last night, it happened last night. You literally, know what I'm saying? Literally. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why we can't be here? Why, why there's no chapter here? Mm -hmm. And I think there should be no reason that that's not a, that's, that's a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it should be, hey, there's a, there wants to be a chapter here. What can we do to make sure that we get a chapter here? Right. Whether that be Kappa have some SCP members or whatever, go down and talk to the college School, representative yeah, for it. Like you that. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I think there's more on our end that we can do to make sure that we get those chapters up and running and just so we can have more brothers up. I couldn't agree more. Be around, you know I what I'm saying? I could not agree more. That's my biggest thing. Especially me dealing with it firsthand. You know my situation. Yeah. You know, my prior, at my previous school, but 1,000%, 1,000%. My last, my, my last, I guess, semi-serious question, your legacy, you know what I'm saying? We, we kept up aside since January of 1911. The legacy was started by Diggs and the other nine founders, something that, you know, they left their legacy. You've got um, our pro fights, your pro fights who've left their legacy. Even outside of Kappa, maybe at Mercer, maybe just in life, what do you want your legacy to be? Why do you want to be remembered? Um, so at Mercer, I don't really have really a big thing that I have for like legacy like I want them to remember me by you know what I'm saying like as long as I did my job here and like that made the people here that were here and experienced me at the same time mm -hmm. happy I'm not tripping you know what I'm saying I think I did a good job I did my part at Mercer you know what I'm saying Mercer right. it's a PWI you know what I'm saying I don't I don't think it's it's respectfully I don't think the system is built for me to thrive for my legacy to be the biggest thing out, out here we have Jesse Mercer you know in, in the courtyard, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's yeah. get the tea lady a statue first. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, yeah, 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 there's yeah. other people before me that I'm yeah, not really worried about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But me, on the other hand, um, I think um, for Theta Pi, mm -hmm. I think that, I think the legacy lives on through y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, my legacy is, is y'all. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I just believe in, you know what I'm saying? As being the Phoenix line, um, the lines after us are very, very monumental because you know we had the longest line after us you know KOK -OK, shout mm -hmm. out to them boys you know that's my immediate neos then you know I have my boys KOP you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying then I have y'all and Pronto mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying that's just the product all those lines are the products of the Phoenix you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. and so with the with the next lines you know what I'm saying the lines that have come from the Phoenix our legacy lives through y'all you know what I'm saying that's my biggest joy um, seeing that people I brought in um, become more because of what their dreams and achieving, they're achieving more because of the of just being around other brothers. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Me bringing you into the frat and you being able to come, and you sit down and you be able to talk. And we we can exchange that knowledge and be able to talk and just just conversate. It expands. It, it brings it brings me joy. You know what I'm saying? When Lance can sit there and be like, "Well, hey, I wouldn't be here without without me." It's like. Lance, respectfully, bro, like, you would have been here without yeah. me, you know what I'm saying? But, but it make I, you feel good that they think so highly of. You know what I'm saying? Right, it made right, me feel right, good. Right. And it's not even just a thing, like, it's like I'm doing, like, I, me and Lance, he does that just to make me feel good. And like, mm -hmm. nah, like, I, I would like to think that I have a genuine impact in Lance's life, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I, it, it prides me when I can sit there and say my man is achieving right now, and he's out about to be, about to be an NFL star. I'm, I'm going to speed him star. He's about to be an NFL star. Shout out to Lance. Nah, shout just out, a special team, ADP, man. man. Big ADP, you know what I'm saying? That's big trade club, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I hope, I hope that, you know what I'm saying, that legacy lives on through y'all. Like, that's my biggest thing. Gotcha. It's not going to be, one of, I don't want it to be one of those things like, we need a big memorial, or a, what, not memorial, but like picture on the wall or some mural. Memorial, kind of. huh? I get you saying, something to commemorate. Yeah, I, get something, saying, I don't need something to commemorate me, but I do, my life has always talked about it, we do want to gift like the house, like some big, some big thing, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just because, you know what I'm saying? I think it's big to have monuments mm -hmm. to to show the love of Theta Pi. Not mm -hmm. for us, but like Theta Pi, we want a Theta Pi. Uh, Something, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. Right, right. When we become nice and wealthy and rich, you know what I'm saying? We'll figure that out, you know gotcha. what I'm saying? But I, that's my biggest thing. The legacy lives on through y'all, you know what I'm saying? What y'all do, what y'all achieve, what y'all become, that I take pride in that, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. What I become is cool, but I did. With that's the nephew, real, that's real altruism, right? With few, few, <laughs> my few, <laughs> 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 few. 
Fuse and Sons. Before we go, last question. As one of the smoothest dudes I know, I need you to give me your top three smoothest strollers in TP and your top three strollers that you know personally just in Nuke them. Okay. In okay. any order. Any order. And you, you can put yourself on the list as well. I'm, well, realistically, I may exclude myself. Cause, okay, okay. Because realistically, I'm on one of both of those lists. You know what I'm saying? Fact, I'm, I'm one okay, of them. So outside of I'm you. I'm top three, yeah. Outside you know of I'm, you. Outside of you. Like, valid, valid, valid. I get, I get wicked when I need to get wicked. You know what I'm saying? Um, and Theta Pi all time, right? Yeah. Smoothest. We're not, we're not gonna say no cane work, right? No, nah, we're going straight stroll. We're straight, going straight stroll. Holly in the H2O smooth, yeah, smooth yeah, yeah. straight smooth. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have to say top three, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, and if you hear this at UNTP and you disagree, lab session. Lab. <laughs> Come lab. lab it out. Come, Come lab, lab it out, man. Come lab it out. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be a hard one. I'm gonna just mm -hmm. have to give y'all a breakdown. We can come down to it. Okay. Let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you my brain process. I'm gonna be thinking for a minute, all right? Realistically, if you go your old heads, you know, I'm gonna have to say. <laughs> he went old heads. If you go old heads, you don't really get that smooth for real, for real <laughs> until you get about carnage. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, um, okay. <laughs> Jameson, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Jameson. Shout out Jameson. Jameson is smooth, okay? Then once you I get, just laughed with Jameson the first time last week. Yeah. Literally. That was my first time laughing with Jameson. So. He's a smooth dude. Shout out to Jameson. He's man. smooth. Big he's, Ace Club. Big Ace Club. He's smooth. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cap him now. He's okay. smooth, right? So is he going on the list? I, I gotta hold on. Let's, okay, let's, okay, let's, okay, 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 okay. Know him for a second. Know him for a second. Okay, 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 okay. Then after that, I'm gonna have to put Hawk. Hawk is incredibly smooth. I've never seen Hawk. Hawk is crazy smooth. Hawk ain't he like Bermuda? Yeah. Shout out to Hawk. Achievement. Yeah. Achievement. Way to achieve. Med school. Med school, you feel me? Um um, that's a good guy too. Shout out Hawk, man. Yeah. So good, bro. So I'm gonna go him. Hawk is definitely he's definitely up there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go Hawk. So Hawk's on the list. Hold on, let me cook. Let me keep cooking. <laughs> let me keep cooking. <laughs> let me keep cooking. <laughs> so then you get to my line. I'm gonna go. I think I'm the smoothest one on my on my line. I'm sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm, mad at that. I'm, I'm, I'm on strollers. Oh, I'm a, I ain't gonna. You got Abe. I got Abe. Abe, Abe, Abe is smooth. Abe is smooth. Abe is smooth. Don't sleep. Don't Steve sleep got Miles, crazy. Steve got crazy. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, Miles. I'm sorry, Miles. Miles. Miles got a wicked. Uh, Miles got a wicked layup. I ain't gonna count. Miles. Miles is very fundamental. Miles tight, is, he's tight. very fundamental. You know what I'm saying? Different basketball. Miles is Clay Thompson. Yeah. Miles is Clay. That's not fundamental and it's smooth. It's and smooth. It works. It works. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie. He ain't. He ain't funky. You know what I'm saying? He ain't funky. Okay. That's what he. But look. Okay. Boom. So then, KOK, -OK, I'm gonna have to get Gerald. But after that, I'm we're taking Gerald's money. I'm sorry, we're taking <laughs> Gerald's money. Like that's lunch money. And after that, you have KOP and then Juice Man is smooth. Mm -hmm. Juice Man getting real smooth. Yeah. Like, like you and Juice Man getting up there, y'all getting smooth. I'm laughing. I'm laughing. Yeah, you laughing. You laughing. You I'm getting laughing. there. You know, you get, you the best one. I ain't gonna lie. You probably getting better than Lil B. We had to. Oh, B gonna see this and be hot. You I ain't gonna that. lie. I would have to see y'all side by side. Cause okay. the way you been getting recently, I've been looking at the finish. I'm like, mm, <laughs> he getting in there. He getting in there. He getting in there. B gonna, B gonna see this. Woo! But it's okay. We gonna getting go in there. What's up? So, but Juice Man getting. Smooth, I ain't gonna lie. Juice man get smooth. We just gotta we gonna we gonna work on that melt, you know what I'm saying? So realistically, <laughs> for TP all time, okay, boom, I'm gonna go. You only give me three. I, I, I only give you three. three. I, just, I need three. Okay, Hawk is gonna be in there. Okay. I'm gonna have to put Hawk. Cause I think Hawk is smoother than Carnage. Respectfully, Jameson. Okay. I think he's smarter. I think he's smoother than you. You know, he's gonna have a hit. He's gonna, he gonna have a he gonna, fit. Oh, I didn't say Kev. My bad, Kev. Woo! <laughs> Kev is smooth. Kev is definitely smooth. Kev is definitely smooth. Kev is definitely smooth. Turbo E? They should move. They should move. I just think, I think I'm smoother than them. Okay. We would say I excluded me. But He's I not on there. I just need three that's, yeah. three that's not Mace. I could put them up there, but they definitely, I, I would definitely throw them top ten. But it's like, you got to get to the rankings. I'm talking about, but this is, the, this is Kobe, Bron, Mike. That's what I'm saying. Because like, at this point, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I look at Kev and it's like, I got to put Kev the smoothest on his line. Okay. Like, I'm Does sorry. Does he make the three? That's the question now. That's the question. Because <laughs> realistically, I, like, it's like, do I be biased and say I go Steve, A, and, uh, Hawk? And Hawk. <laughs> that's you gonna crazy go work. You going to go Phoenix? That's crazy that's how work. You, feel, you gotta go that way, though. You kidding me, man? I really man. wish I had footage that we could play. Play, yeah. That I'm not gonna lie. Fine. I'm gonna just go ahead and put them boy. I'm gonna have to put them two. And then who, you going, who you going? I'm going. I'm going. Abe, Steve, Hawk. No okay. order. No okay. order. Abe, Steve, Hawk. You heard it here first. Top three smooth in TP history according to the psycho. Wait, 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 wait. Let me like he wanna read. Wait, 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 wait
I'm taking out Hawk. I'm taking out Hawk. Because Hawk is smooth, but I'm Hawk is overall good. Like, he's very good with the cane, too. Mm -hmm. I think that Kev might be a little bit smoother than him. With strolling. With strolling. Okay, cool. So now you got to go outside of TP. Just all the noobs you know, give me three. Give me, give me three. And if you want, nah, you can't go to, you just gave me three TP. So give me give me three outside of TP. Out TP, outside, outside of TP. TP. I'm, I'm going to have to hit Mel up. L5, if you don't know Sands. Okay. L5, uh, I mean, yeah. Shout he, out to Mel. Shout out to Mel. He get, he's a he's a subtle smooth. You know right. what I'm saying? At first, when I went down there and I, I came back, I was telling Abe, I was like, bro, he's he the smoothest. Like, he the smoothest yeah. I done seen out of our Sands. I'm okay. sorry. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, nah, bro. Then we went back down there. He was like, nah, I see how you Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He get like, he very calm, casual. He get one of those, he in your face, he's yeah. there, boom, and then he get out. Like, he get out. And when he get out, he's there. You know what I'm saying? He get a couple mm -mm turns, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give Mel that place. I'm going to have to okay. give Mel a spot on their list. You know okay. what I'm saying? Then, realistically, <sighs> smooth. I'm sorry, Georgia's the smoothest state. So no cap. I'm sorry. A, I'm, I might be biased. <laughs> Don't nobody get smooth like Georgia News. Nobody I'm gets sorry. smoother than Georgia News. I'm South sorry. Carolina, you're not topping top. You're not topping <laughs> it. I'm sorry. Sorry, love S P, but no, bro. I'm sorry. I can't even do y'all like Georgia that. Georgia News. Y'all got some good cane work out there. Smoother than smooth. Bama got some good news too. I ain't gonna lie. Them skiggy boys getting right. Them mm -hmm. skiggy boys getting right. Um, them skiggy boys do get right, but I just can't put them smoother than the Georgia boys. So I'm gonna have to go. This might be biased too. I'm sorry, it's my list. I'm going. Oh, I'm tripping Roy. Big Smooth oh, Roy. Big Roy. Big Roy. Smooth as Roy. Oh my gosh. That boy would make the scene. That boy is smooth. Well, well, technically, smooth. he's not TP. He's not TP. He's so not TP. Facts. Because I was thinking about like Matrix. Oh, nah, nah. He not, he's not, not TP. TP. Facts. Right? Okay. He's not TP. So you got Mel. Best, you got best duo, I'm not going to lie, is, is Roy and Carnage. I'm going to give y'all y'all props. I'm going to go ahead and give you a props, Jameson, because you're going to sit here and go crazy. Y'all the best duo, I'm not going to lie. Even me and somebody else, it doesn't really come compared, because I don't have that chemistry that y'all have. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay. They, they got that, come here, <clears throat> fake, uh, fake, uh, fake right there. <laughs> Whoa, what did y'all just do together on the same time? Okay, cool. Anyway. Uh, so you got Roy, Roy Mel. Roy, Mel. Then I got to start looking. Shout out to Roy. We're trying to get Roy on here, too. Shout out to Roy. Shout we, out, we, big, to get shout Roy out Big Smooth, man. man. Shout out Big Smooth. He taught me how to get smooth, man. You gotta give me one more good one. We're gonna wrap it up. Oh uh, man. I'm trying to I'm trying not to hit Georgia News for the three for three, but I might just you have can. to. I'm not mad. Because realistically Georgia News is different kind of smooth, bro. And Cat got some smooth boys. I have seen Fam, you got some smooth boys. I don't wanna do y'all like that. Y'all got some smooth ones out there, but y'all still young in the game, fellas. <laughs> some of y'all still young in the game. And I'm taking your lunch money out here with a schmooze. I'm, I'm taking your lunch money. I'm taking your lunch money. Um, give me three. I'm trying to think of what chapter though. I gotta look at the chapters first. You got D's eye. You got. I ain't gonna count. I was with Femi this past weekend. Femi is smooth. He not as smooth as D's eye though, so I can't even I, say I, Femi. I would. I, I don't disagree. I, don't, I wouldn't know, but like I see like Femi smooth for sure. Shout out that boy Femi. Femi gets smooth. Femi smooth, but Femi Femi real chill too. So he be chilling. He be chilling. Yeah. But I'm going to go smoke before I go Femi. Okay. Smoke go Shout crazy smoke. sometimes. Smoke Shout go crazy. Smoke. Is he going to make your three? He might make my three. I'm trying to, I'm, that's really what I'm thinking. I'm like, who beat out smoke? But I'm trying to think if smoke is smooth on his, on his line. But I'm trying to see. A lot of the boys is smooth. Yeah. A lot of the boys is smooth, but I don't know if they smoother than smoke. I'm trying to do a little comparison. Um, Elf, them down. See, it's really that south. Oh, I, right, y'all got some smooth ones too. Like Trace. Mm. Ah, mm. I'm, I'm outriding Trey. I'm sorry. Shout out, uh, Trey, shout out <laughs> Trey. Shout out Trey. Shout out Shams. But I'm outriding you, fella. I'm outriding you. Jamari from LD. He's great. He gets smooth. He gets smooth. He gets smooth. He gets smooth. He, he just not. He not better than Chance. I'm sorry. Chance okay. is gonna outride. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. My Shams been in the game for a little while, so it's kind of like unfair. And then realistically, I think JVP better than Jamari. Okay. And so JVP, I don't, I don't even see JVP like maybe once. And he's not even that smooth for real. Like he's smooth, <laughs> but it's like ah, like dude, I'll put you top, top three. Top three is crazy. Ooh, JVP. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. They not smoother than Georgia. Sorry, they just not yeah. smoother. Oklahoma. Shout out to the ZQ boys. You know what I'm saying? Zeta, Zeta Omega. You know what I'm saying? Gotta shout them boys out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm really shouting out everybody. Really. In fact, fact. Out of love, bro. So, yo, yo, to the good news, man. If you didn't make <laughs> the top three, it's okay. Uh, all right, so my third, I'm just gonna go with my third. I'm gonna just go ahead and put smoke. Okay, smoke. Okay, then Diza. Diza, smoke. Diza, you know what I'm saying? Valid. So we came in here. We got. Yeah. We got. Your, we got. 
three smoothies from TP, three smoothies just from outside of TP. Just so happened to all be in Georgia. I don't know what you want me to say about that. I'm sorry, but I think I think this is this was a great sure. episode right here. We came in it was we it got some introspective work from Mace. We got some, you know, some we got some some frat talk, some life talk. We got a little bit of everything, man. We got we got we got a little layup. We got a little layup. Get them. Yeah, we got a little layup. <laughs> the seated layup though is crazy. <laughs> the seated layup is crazy. Seated layup. Maze, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for coming to join me on Kappa TV. Until next time. Until next time, yo to the good news. <laughs>